Good morning, hello and happy Saturday. It's a Saturday, Christmas is over, boo. And I am back in London at my place here. Um, last night we got here and it was quite late and I spent the night trying to get the place together. So I'm just gonna quickly head out for brunch with my friend Betsy, she's over from America. She's a flight attendant and works in New York. So we're taking her to the Ivy Chelsea because she's been to the Ivy I think, but not the one in Chelsea and it's really nice. Then I'm gonna sort some more stuff out. So I'm hoping you guys will see my new place looking a bit nicer because it was just getting a bit cluttered and I feel like I need a spring clean or a pre-Christmas, pre-Christmas, post-Christmas clean, although I feel like right now all I need is dry shampoo. I'm very tired and my hair is just a bit dull. Let me show you my outfit. I'm wearing this jumper and this skirt. Oh my goodness, I love this skirt so, so, so much. Although I'm gonna be really late. So my brother's here and Matt's here and we need to go. And I've got my new throw here. This is from Christy. How insane is this? I actually can't cope. We need to get a new sofa. I really, I'm not a fan of the sofa. I, it's a really nice sofa, it's just not the color that I want, so I'd like to get something else, but oh my goodness, the throw is amazing. Let's go. Matt's split in the bill, hello. Show us your new hoodie. Rep represent, well I don't think it's worth how much it cost, but it looks nice. I actually was gonna sleep in it last night and Matt was so angry, he was like, take my hoodie off. She, she laid in all the blankets, she just pulled in the floods, so she didn't roll it. And he let me try it on and then I was like, can I go to bed in it? And he was like, absolutely not. <laughs> Look who's here. Oh, he's very hungover. It took a lot to get him out of bed. That backdrop is so nice. But did you enjoy your breakfast? And then, drum roll please, the queen is here. Oh my god, this backdrop, you look gorgeous. Here she is. She literally flew in for 24 hours from America. She's flying back today, but she flew in just to see us. Because that's how bougie she is. She flew in on her private jet. Imagine if you actually did. I know. So hard being me. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to see her castle at Buckingham Palace. <laughs> Guys, we are all full. We are heading to Buckingham Palace because we thought we would be tourists for the day. We're back in London after Christmas. Betsy's here for a flying visit, literally. So we just thought, actually, let's just be tourists. And I thought, I'm going to take my brother to Buckingham Palace. He's not been for years. How have you had? No, uh, can't wait. You buzzing? Yeah. Hung over trip to Buckingham Palace. <laughs> <laughs> and the taxi driver asked if we're going to see the Queen and we'd quite like to go and see the Queen. Mm -hmm. See if Meghan Markle's there, like I'm her number one fan. He was it? Uh, I love the royal family, so am I. You don't, I do. We love the royal family, don't we? Don't actually take we the mic, we love them. I want to see Prince Harry. Um, I know. You know that Prince Harry actually lives in Kensington Palace Gardens, which is on High Street, Ken. Yeah, That's she, literally where they live. They all live there. They all the actually, family. the whole family actually live there. Mm -hmm. On High Street, Ken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've looked at drone shots on Google to see what their apartment's like. Seriously. <laughs> so that's what we're doing today. Then we're gonna have a nice little wonder in the park. I wanna find that bridge, the really cute bridge. Yeah. That everyone gets pitched on, like yeah. the cute Buckingham Palace. Yeah, from memory, when Mum brought us like years ago, it was that park over there. Queen, are you in? The flag's not up, she's not in. Well, you know what, you can see. Where's Megan? Megan took a picture sat on these railings looking up at Buckingham Palace, but she said she didn't know who Prince Harry was, but I kind of think she was lying because she <laughs> took a picture and, Adam, that's a secret, she preempted it. If I take a picture outside Buckingham Palace, will I get married to a prince? Hee <laughs> Buckingham Palace. It's very cold, you know. This time last year, I was in New York. Now I'm being a full-blown London tourist with my, with my peeps. Hi. Oh hey. Megan's not in. I'm quite disappointed. We are gonna find the really nice little park bit, which I think is actually near where the London Eye is, which is over here somewhere. Hello. Hello. Oh, you little cutie. Oh. Hello. 
Running from all things without thinking twice. And I knew it would get Now we're at London Eye. It's very cold. My nose is literally running. Da 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 da. What a bright day. The stories have been told. They never seem to. So we're just walking along the bridge now. We're accidentally being really touristy. I'm quite liking it because I think there's a little market down here. Oh yeah, South Bank Market. Not a Christmas market though. I kind of want like a coffee or a hot chocolate or something. Although I'm aware that my brother's really hungover and we're dragging him around and it's oh, no. minus 46. <laughs> <laughs> Going strong though, aren't you? Yeah. Living your best life. We need to get you a whiskey shot or something. Oh, Look down there, they've got food. Food and drink. I just want a nice hot drink and to sit somewhere and then Betsy has to get on a flight soon. This is what I'm talking about. I want a coffee or a chocolate. Oh, yeah. Oh, you blurred. Chin chin. Hot. What are you getting? More what? Amaretto. Are you serious? Try it. No, I can't. Hair of the dog and all that. Yeah. Dry jam. All for me. And then look, they've got a guacamole stand. Oh my goodness. Swedish cafe. Love it. Oh, Adam, they've got that raclette cheese. Let's get mini pancakes. Let's get mini pancakes. Matt wants sausage. I want pancakes. Mini pancakes. Which is the best? German's the best. German, yeah. Two. Six. <laughs> I once got one with cheese in the middle of it that squirts out. It was amazing. Cheese like squirts out when I bit it. I was like, heaven. Oh, go on. Get that ketchup on it. Thank you very much. Boys and their sausages. <laughs> Ooh, ketchup. <laughs> Someone said on my last vlog that I didn't do it right because I didn't put mustard on. At least Adam's doing it right. I hate mustard though. I am doing it. Adam is going hard. There we go. There we go. Make a sexual innuendo. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. No, no, I won't. <laughs> Too many children watching. Tucking in. <laughs> Yum, hangover cure, boys. Your home, wieners. Guys, I'm going for it. I'm gonna get some strawberries and chocolate on a stick. Oh yeah, they actually coat it. Yay! That is what I want. But yeah, they go hard on the chocolate. Yes. Thank you. I'm so full of chocolate, that was so good. So we just dropped Betsy off, Betsy's just gone back to the airport, she's a flight attendant, so she's gone to fly back to New York now, which is so cool. So I am just gonna organize the house. Matt's going to get his hair cut, Gabby's coming around, my brother's gonna chill. And then I think we're gonna do something this afternoon as well, but for now, it's time to get organized. Just want this place to feel clean and tidy, so you're gonna organize with me. I'm gonna unpack some stuff, tidy it all up. Might keep my coat on, I'm kinda cold still. <laughs> but first, light a candle.
unpacking this huge <laughs> Louis Vuitton bag, which has got all of my Christmas treats and homeware stuff in. And that's when we got me the most amazing hand decorated glass that's gonna be for gin. And last night we organized all of these. Um, well, Matt organized all of this for me, so it's a bit neater. Oh, it doesn't fit. Amazing little hamper that my mum and my brother put together for me with all my favorite like snacks and stuff in. I love how much my family love Yorkshire. Yorkshire home is wherever I am, Max. I spend all my money on pop chips, so very grateful that my family bought me some pop chips and some hippies. I look like such a mess, you know, in the wind and everything. Oh, I'm getting my hair done at Sassoon on Monday and I can't wait. I need it doing. I feel so drab. So these are all going in the snack cupboard. And then Matt's mum got me some Edinburgh Gin Rhubarb and Ginger Liqueur. So my champagne bottles were all here before and I decided that they actually just looked really messy. Whereas if you look now, how it looks so much tidier, just getting rid of everything. So made things a bit neater. I've popped, that's a neon candle. This is a cheese board that my hairdressers at Sassoon got me, how amazing. Diptyque candles, Jo Malone. Joe Malone, Winter Spray, White Moss and Snowdrop, Dip Teak Hand Wash, Dip Teak Soap, Dip Teak Candle, and then in here, which is really dark right now, I've popped, and that's a bag in the way, I've actually popped whew, more alcohol overflow, like champagnes and stuff. Oh, can it fit? Down here. Yes, because it was stressing me out having them all in the kitchen. So this is a kitchen overspill. We actually have this wine fridge, but stuff doesn't really fit properly in it and I've already filled it up, so that's gonna just have to be overspill. So yeah, this is a lot neat now. We've got all of my gorgeous little cups. How nice do these look? All my little mugs. Danielle got me this one, girls, support girls. Glasses, more mugs, what's in this one? Plates, bowls, how cute. Um, how cute. And then Matt's made this all tidy. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. This is my favorite protein ever, ever, ever. These are really fancy wine glasses that the same ones that they do in Fazenda and Gaucho, two of my favorite restaurants that my brother bought me. Very good. Obviously the snack cupboard. But yeah, I just think the whole thing looks so much neater. I could not be happier with that. Yes. We've got some seriously good supplies in here. Meriden, peanut butter, cashew butter, almond butter. This is my favorite, hazelnut butter. Oh my goodness, it tastes so good. All oh, my Manuka honeys, I love them. The best. And then Meriden date syrup. Yes, Mama Shell has sorted me out. I made an executive decision last night to move this plant here and then this plant here. We still want to get like a huge gold vintage mirror to go here. And then I've got rid of the table here and moved that into the office. Um, that's They're all just kind of sat there until I get a dining room table sorted or something, but that is actually gonna be empty. And I want a big gold vintage mirror here. Move the Samsung TV here. We need to organize Matt's PlayStation, which is really ugly and needs to not be underneath the TV in the skybox. But yeah, so this plant goes here now. This one here, I think it looks a lot better having this one here. And then this little one here, although they kind of died when we went away. So they need a lot of love and attention and water because I'm sad, they're already dying. you bring plants back to life? I don't know. We've been away for over two weeks for Christmas. Hairs up, by the way. I'm just having a disaster with my hair. I just don't know if we can bring them back to life. They were expensive. But look. 
Matt said they didn't need that much water and I think he was lying. I think we need a plant sitter because look, they're dying. So I don't know what to do because we're going away again for another week. Um, a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried. I'm going to just keep watering them and hope that it revives them, but I'm not really sure. It's a small place for me, isn't it? Yeah, if you're not hungry, it's a small <laughs> Cammy's here. Hello. It's a few hours later, and um, we are going to get pizza. And olives. And the boys aren't hungry, so I was like, well, you could just have some olives. <laughs> so we're going to go and have some pizza. I'm going to show you the office transformation, kind of transformation. It looks a lot better um, tomorrow morning. So we're going to have some pizza now, then head to a local pub. We good? We going? Yeah. Yeah. Not, not in the mood to put makeup on today. I'm actually feeling a makeupless day. Look at my outfit. I need to put that in the bin. Um, we're gonna make some pancakes this morning. Just had some of these, which are honestly the tastiest, nicest little gummies ever. Kind of sad because look, I've got barely any left. They're meant to help support healthy heart, firmer skin, and strong nails. So I'm hoping after these, I'm gonna take some more. Please make my hair grow on my nails. Yay, so Matt's just getting the frying pan ready because I'm going to make my first ever pancakes in this house. Yes. Oh, also, guys, I put my Yorkshire born and bred breadboard out. I'm so happy about this. Matt's just made his little morning coffee. We need to make smoothies and pancakes this morning, so I'm going to make my healthy pancakes. Thank you. I make the pan super, super, super hot. Yeah. And then I'll make the mixture. Yeah, I'm going to quickly make the mixture now. Guys, I will leave the full recipe for my healthy pancakes below. I don't usually put eggs in my pancakes, but today I decided to. My actual recipe doesn't need eggs. It's very easy. decided to actually put some makeup on because I looked dreadful. I also look like a lumberjack in this. Look how nice my plants look. Matt, did you enjoy the pancakes? Yeah, they look unreal. Am I queen of making pancakes? I do actually love your pancakes. And your banana bread. They're Matt's just favorite. putting his coffee beans into his coffee machine and having his 16th coffee of the morning. This is my second actually. Yum. So make good. him one for ads now. Also, guys, look up at our skylight. Din din. It's cute. And now this is where Matt makes his coffee. We've just tidied up from the um, pancakes. I'm just going to finish my makeup and then I'll quickly show you what I've done to my office room. And this is when now you won't hear a thing. Coffee time. Hourglass is so nice. I've started using it. Oh, I can't open it. This amazing bronzer. Look at that. So beautiful. Now, time for some Lancome mascara. So, just Lancome on the eyes. I love Lancome. And then on my face, I'm using a NARS foundation with a matte concealer. This is Nude by Nature Brow Pencil. Then, I'm using Little Mix Lip Liner, which is available at Superdrug. It's exceptional. Then we're using a Buxom slash Bare Minerals lip balm, which is amazing. Then Lano lips over the top. I feel a bit better now. So I'm gonna go and sort out the room so I can show you the office. So this is what we've done so far. We've moved this out of the dining room and made this into a nice little table. It's actually fully chipped, but it looks okay for now with these gorgeous little chairs. 
that I bought. I actually have like six of these chairs, but they look really, really, really nice. And then got our little shelves here with some books and stuff. I think we're gonna get some prints to go there. Nice little plan Atelier Cologne. And we've got the little fireplace with the big, big, big mirror and Eleanor's candle. Joy Malone candles here, neon. I'm not gonna show you the other half of the room because it's honestly a mess and I need to get it sorted. But then got a sofa here. I panic ordered this sofa because I just needed a quick sofa bed before we get stuff sorted. Um, actually looks really nice, it's like an accent sofa. The floor's disgusting because our hoover doesn't actually work yet. So we need to get a vacuum sorted. Yeah, as you can tell, it's all a bit of a mess. But it's a really nice sofa. It goes really nice with these little chairs. So at least we have a little bit more of our lives organized now. I think that's a really cute little setup. And another beautiful throw from Christy, which it just means more people can stay over if we have, this is a sofa bed, but it's not really the sofa bed I wanted. It was just, I got in the sale. It was comfortable and got good reviews and it was available for immediate dispatch. So I might get a nicer one in the near future, but for now, it's nice. I mean, the Christie throw is nice. My brother said he had the best night's sleep of his life because of the Christie duvet. Honestly, the duvets are so good. I love that little throw. Chair here is an accent chair. I actually want this to be a dining room chair. Don't ask why that TV's there, that's going. Um, but I want to get a really big, nice accent chair to go in the corner. How are your pancakes? Amazing. I'm good, at, I'm good at doing some things, aren't I? <laughs> and I was just telling the vlog that you had a really good night's sleep all because of Christy. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Literally the best, <laughs> the best duvets ever. Right, let's go out, do something. This is me playing back my recent vlog. Thanks to you guys who have watched it. So my brother's gone for some scrambled eggs. I have gone for some poached eggs with a little orange juice. Good morning, and just like that, it's Monday, and I'm back in Yorkshire. No makeup on, but I did tan last night. Just washed it off. I don't know if you can see the colour, but I use James Reed Foolproof Bronzing Mousse Face and Body, and it does come out kind of dirty, but I kind of liked it because I was instantly tanned, and I've washed it off, and I'm still pretty tanned. I could do with maybe another layer on, so I might double up with some tinted moisturiser with some. Um, gradual tan or something but I think this colour is really nice it always goes dark on my hands so I'm in gym kicks I'm gonna head to Blaze to do David Lloyd Blaze and if you wonder why I'm in back in Yorkshire so soon it's because if you couldn't tell by this light I'm doing a week of filming this week so I've got lots of stuff that needs filming and ticking off so I'm ahead for the rest of the week but first I'm gonna go to Blaze and then finally I booked in for my hair colour and cut at Sassoon oh my gosh I need my colour doing so bad and my nails doing at Ragdoll Nails so it's like a day to get on top and then to film. Also, my brows are still looking in good shape. I got them done on my birthday at Brows and Nails in Mayfair and I'm really liking them. And I'm just gonna pop some of this Elizabeth Arden little serum on my skin. Stay here for some time. 
So I just got home, got my hair done at Sassoon. So look, oh, I'm all sliding the door. Look how nice my colour is. I went for a nice little short trim because I might, I don't know when I'll be next back in Yorkshire. Depends if anything comes up, but at, not at least for maybe six weeks. I get my hair cut every seven. Um, so my colour is by Louise at the Leeds Salon and my cut is by Connor. I'll leave a link below to my blog post all about hair growth, but if you guys know or have followed me for a while, you'll know that I, I had really really damaged hair and now it's thick i'm so happy you can't really tell but i actually have hair and it's thick and i'm so happy they popped a smart bond treatment on so it's feeling very fresh although i have just been outside in the rain and um, it just feels so much better and brighter then i got my nails done can you see yay at ragdoll nails who are also in leeds in the corn exchange such a nice independent salon look at those i wanted to go for something short because i don't know when i'm next going to be able to get my nails done and my nails grow really really long i'm sure it's because of those biotin capsules by bioglan um but yeah they grow really really long and strong but then they snap quite easily because they're so long so i was thinking if i keep them short and neat and nude but still a little bit festive because i'm not ready to say bye to that then hopefully they'll last when i go back to london so i've got a nice little evening of filming i've actually got a week of filming content um lots of exciting stuff coming up and then I'm heading back to London, so I'm going to go upstairs and see which little parcels have come. Wearing this coat, I actually found a cheaper version. This one was about 70 I'll link this below. But then I did find a really similar one that looks such good quality and it's reduced to £30. So if you were wanting this coat, I will link that as well. So I'm going to go upstairs to see what's come in my office. And then also I need to eat. I've had really bad stomach ache all day. She gets so badly bloated. I don't know if it's from not eating enough in a day, but I did have an itsu for lunch. Love it, so sushi whilst. So I was doing some work in between appointments today, but yeah, stomach's killing. Let's go see what came. Outrageously excited about this. So this is the Hit Reset little bag of beauty essentials. This is such a nice little gym bag to pop like mini shampoos and stuff in for after the gym. It's worth £68, but it's £25 to buy. It's a little limited edition set in a gym-friendly bag, and it's got all of the Estee Lauder brand's little bits and bobs in. So you've got a lip scrub from MAC. Never tried that. Very exciting. You've got a Smashbox primer, and these are all travel-friendly. Hello, Summer. I'm thinking about you. You've got an Aveda Rosemary Mint Hand and Body Wash. I bet that smells so good. Bumble and Bumble, one of my fave hair care brands, said dry shampoo with French pink clay. Oh my goodness, I bet that is amazing. What else do we have? Bobbi Brown Soothing Cleansing Oil, Glam Glow Super Cleanse, Clearing Cream to Foam Cleanser. These are all such good minis for like travels and hotel stays and stuff. As if it's only £25 for this. Origins, I haven't used Origins for a while, but last year they were one of my favorite brands. Ultra Hydrating Energy Boosting Cream, an Estee Lauder Little Black Primer Lash. Ooh, love Estee Lauder. And then Clinique, which we all know I adore. Hydrating Supercharged Concentrate. This is such a good little gift, or just a gift to yourself, lol. This is so funny in my office. Yorkshire Lass that my mum got me. What else has come? This. Yes, I am. I have heard so much about this fragrance. I can't pronounce the brand. I'm probably going to say it's wrong, but I want to say... Cacharel? I think I'm pronouncing that wrong. Yes, I am. A fragrance of empowerment. Are you daring? Are you independent? Are you powerful? Yes, I am. You can get this from Superdrug. Thank you. It's like a lipstick bottle and then the spray comes out of here and it smells very, very nice. I wish you guys could smell through the screen. Not least, I got some new bits from L'Occitan. I'm thinking of writing a blog post about my favourite things of the year and L'Occitan are 100% one of my favourite brands this year. I've been using their night... Oh, I've been using their night serum so much and their shampoos. It's just such a good brand and one of the only brands that does so much good stuff like from skincare to hair care to body care and I love all of it. Little soap. How nice is this packaging? This is very nice for Valentine's. This is a little hand cream. They're actually famous for their hand creams. My mum loves their hand creams. Oh, this is a foot cream. A little behind the scenes. This is some of the stuff I'm filming for my haul which will be live on Sunday. I'm very excited to try these items on. Just Louie bag came home with me also. How amazing is this loungewear? We'll be on my haul on Sunday. Then last but not least, I got another one of these. As you guys know, I got my Christie one. And then my mum actually ordered me this as a Christmas present. It just took a while to come. How special is this? I feel so happy and lucky. How lovely. It's just so cosy. 
So I'm going to leave this video here because it was meant to be more of a flat organisation weekly vlog. And I just want to say thank you so much for your support already this year. Your comments have been so nice. I've had so many amazing Instagram private messages. So thank you. Love you guys so much. And do leave a comment and let me know if there's any, if you made it this far, if there's any other videos you would like to see from me this year. I'm really interested to know what you guys would like to see. Big, big, big love. Come say hey on Instagram as always. Bye guys. And obviously, thank you very much for watching as always.